I really miss welding. Anyway, oh, I'm not going to drag this out. It's going to be boring enough. Here's another 3D print. Today, uh, it's going to be an avatar figure. The looks of the top half, it says eight hours. Is a carnivore. The reptile like Sorishia. Well, I thought I'd save you the pain of waffling for um, whatever length of time this video is taken to make. But yeah, it was another 3D print. Some of you seem to like it. Yeah, I just can't wait until I weld again. Oh, I miss it so much, but it's just so cold. <laughs> Wow, okay. I just had a funny feeling it wouldn't print. I know I've got to print the uh, waist and legs next, but it's not doing bad. There's one piece on it, it's got like a long braided um, ponytail. That'll be at the back. Let's see if we can get the support off that without snapping it. Well, that's the top of the avatar finished, but of top of the body. Um, not really going to know what it looks like until I get the support off, and then even then, I won't really know what it looks like until it's cured and it's got primer on it to make sure that uh, all the details printed. But moving on, we'll have to do the bottom off. If you can see there. Just there. That's the what do you call the ponytail. But all the detail seems to have printed off quite well. Touch wood. I mean even those braids, oh my god. Yeah. Can't really tell, you know, face wise. But you can see it in the 3D CAD anyway. Yeah, so I'm going to leave the uh, bottom half printing tonight. And we'll have a look at this tomorrow in the daylight. So, it's, yeah, it's done. It's about 10 inches tall. Managed to get the uh, support off, the tail, and also the braiding, whatever you call that ponytail on the back. There, you can already see it. There's just a little bit of... Uh, Support I've got to get off there, but very wary of that, so I'm going to use the Dremel. But all in all, details pretty good. So I'm really pleased with that. Catch you on the next one.